Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys before I can uh, actually uh, commence the tutorial and teach you let me show you a publish preview by hitting control enter on my keyboard here goes control enter so you can uh, see the ball flying in one direction and then it uh, reverses its path basically this tutorial is all about reversing keyframes programmatically by which I mean through the program by which I mean through ActionScript 3, guys, I'm using uh, Flash Pro, Flash Professional CS 5.5. Right. And um, guys, we have two layers out here. The One of the layers is ball and the one on the top. The layer on the top is AS3, which contains the ActionScript 3. And uh, not too many lines, guys. Just a very short script. Okay. After I end the tutorial, you'll understand the concept of end of frame events you'll know what exactly the current frame and the total frame properties mean okay you'll also know what is uh, the how to change the frame rate uh, through the action script 3 right okay so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna destroy the ball layer So I'm deleting the ball layer, okay, uh, which means that the ball has actually left the stage, the ball is gone, although it will be lying in the library, guys. I'm just retaining the action script, uh, action script 3 layer, okay, which contains, of course, the, uh, the action script, okay. Guys, let me then uh, get a ball out here on the stage in the corner, let me tuck it in the corner, okay, I've already selected the fill, okay. And uh, I've set the stroke color to a null, a nil. Let me uh, hit the shift key and then uh, draw a perfect uh, circle. Okay. Let me convert this to a movie clip. So right click convert to symbol, keeping the registration point top left. And uh, let me call it MC, MC for movie clip. Keeping things very simple. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, let me cut it out. I want to place it on a separate layer. Okay. So let me give the layer a name. So let me call it green ball this time. Okay. And out here, selecting the first uh, frame, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say paste in place. So it places it again in the corner, which is fine. I'm going to double click. I'm in the edit mode, guys. And then, guys, uh, I'm going to click this symbol. This symbol or uh, this icon is for uh, applying motion presets. Guys, I'm in the Essentials workspace. And then, guys, I'm going to choose uh, any of the default uh, presets. Uh, I'd already chosen, uh, you know, the, the one that you, you saw was Bounce Out 3D. I'm going to choose it again. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to click the Apply button to apply the motion preset. To the selection, that selection is the green ball, I get a message which says the selected item cannot be tweened with 3D properties. You must convert this to a movie clip in order to tween. Do you want to convert and create a tween? I'm fine with that. I'm going to say OK. And let's see what has happened, guys. Automatically, 75 frames have been generated. Cool. Right. And... Uh, let me go back to the main timeline. Let me test the movie again. Okay, so a control enter. And uh, okay, it flies in one direction and then reverses uh, the keyframe. So basically, it reverses the path, but while the path is being retraced, you can see that it does, it, does that at uh, four times the, the speed. Okay, and uh, we'll see uh, how and why it happened. So let me open up the actions panel for you. Okay. Let's understand uh, line number two first. Now line number one got auto-generated while I was writing the code. And uh, you may be aware that this happens. Uh, some classes get imported out here in the actions panel. So that's routine. That's standard. You don't need to bother about this. Even if I were to delete this line, let's say delete, it really wouldn't affect the code. 
Right. So let's see how the, the keyframes were reversed uh, programmatically. See guys, I've declared a variable frame now and I'm making it equal to MC dot total frames. Now, total frames uh, property can actually retrieve the total number of frames. And when I say MC dot total frames, it basically means that the total frames inside the movie clip are uh, MC. So what you can notice that we have 75 frames, guys. Okay. So the number generated out here is actually uh, 74. Right. Now, another variable uh, uh, that has been declared out here is of the type string. I've not given the type out here. It's not mandatory. So ball direction and I've set it to down. All right. Since the type is string, uh, it has to be encapsulated in uh, the inverted codes. Next, guys, uh, I'm using an enter frame event. Now, enter frame events can either be attached to the stage or you need not attach it to anything. I can I can put stage out here, okay, stage dot, and uh, still the script works uh, just as fine, right? Or I can completely do away with the stage. I can straight away, uh, you know, start typing add event for listener. Now, let's understand what enter frames, uh, frame events do. They fire or they repeat themselves at frames per second. The frames per second is uh, defaulted to 24 in uh, Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5. In earlier versions, they were 30, they were 12. But uh, in uh, the current version, CS 5.5, they have defaulted to 24. So, <coughs> sorry. So error frame events actually fire at FPS, which is 24. So what exactly happens uh, 24 times in one second? This function frame handler is what exactly happens 24 times. And let's see what exactly is there inside frame handler. Uh, we have a if conditional out here which says if the current frame is equal to is equal to total frames inside the MC. Okay. Basically, it means that if uh, on the timeline, the 75th frame is met, is encountered. So basically, if it reaches, the playhead reaches the last frame of the timeline. Uh, what needs to be done is, please set the frame rate of the stage to 96. By default, it's 24. So 24 into 4 is 96. Okay. Basically, quadruple it. Make it four times. Okay. Also, change the value of the variable ball direction from a down to up okay and out here in line number line nine we have another ref conditional which says or which checks is the ball direction equal to equal to up basically when you say two equal to it it means that you are actually checking something you, you're checking uh, if that's true or not if it is true then uh, we are instructing that uh, inside the MC, please go to and stop on frame now. Now, guys, if you remember, frame now is 74. Total frames minus 1. 74. And then in the next line, I'm uh, telling Flash to reduce uh, 1 from the uh, frame now, which was earlier 74. So then it becomes 73. So that's frame now minus is equal to 1. That's uh, decrementing it by 1. I can even, uh, I can have a minus minus uh, as well out here. That, that, that means just the same thing. Right. So a plus plus is an increment and a minus minus is a decrement. Okay. So frame now minus minus. So basically the 74th frame then becomes 73rd, 72nd, uh, 71st, uh, 70th, 69th, so on and so forth. Okay, so MC dot go to and stop 75th, 74th, 73rd, 72nd. So what will happen? It will retrace the path, obviously, guys. And uh, that's that. That is the reason why, um, you know, it re retraces uh, the path. So basically a very short script, guys. A very short script. Okay. And uh, ultimately, frame now will become zero. And, you know, you cannot retrace uh, beyond one, so it'll come to a stop then. Right. 
So let's test and terminate the tutorial. Control enter. Yep. Uh, there was just one thing that I wanted to tell you. You can actually control the retracing rate uh, by controlling the frame rate. If I keep it at 24, that's just the normal uh, retracing uh, speed. Okay. If I keep it at a higher value, say 120, that's that's pretty fast. Have a look out here. So the speed at which it will re retrace itself can be controlled via uh, stage dot frame rate. Right, guys? So I hope you like this tutorial, guys. And I hope to see you very soon with uh, yet another uh, Flash or Reviewer tutorial. You have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.